Welcome to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. Today we want to talk about feng shui setup for working from home or study from home. It's the back to school season now and because of the pandemic, a lot of people are planning to work from home or study from home. And this is a very stressful time for a lot of us. Maybe we are forced to stay at home working and take care of kids who might be doing the homeschooling or remote learning. So it's important to set up a proper place so you can work or study more efficiently. In feng shui, there is a special term called wen chang, which is related to intelligence, wisdom, clear thinking, popularity, and promotion. So the wen chang location is especially important for students or working people who need to be skillful and make good decisions. So to set up a good location for home office or a desk for home study, we have to find our Wen Chang location. And there are several ways to find your Wen Chang location. The first one is based on the A mentions Feng Shui. And there are eight house directions. Based on the house sitting and facing directions, it decides your Wen Chang location. Here I have the chart of the A directions. For example, if your house is sitting on the north direction and your door is facing the south, your Wen Chang location will be in the northeast. So the northeast of your house is a good location to set up your home office. If you cannot do that, you can also find the northeast direction of any room and set up your desk there. And the second way to find the Wen Chang location is based on your birth year. And there are 10 heavenly stems and each one is corresponding to last digit of your birth year. For example, the Jia year is corresponding to number 4. It can be 2004 or 1994 or 1984. If the last digit of your birth year ends with 4, then your Wen Chang location is southeast. And if the last digit of your birth year ends with 5, your Wen Chang location is in the south. So you can look at this chart and find out your Wen Chang location. And this can be different from the previous Wen Chang location. So you have more choice here. And one more thing about the 10 heavenly stem, because it's based on the lunar calendar, so it's usually separate by the beginning of the spring. That's called Li Chun, and it's usually February 4th on the Western calendar. So if you are born in the January or before the February 4th, you belong to the previous year. The third way to find your Wen Chang location is by the Flying Star Feng Shui. The Wen Chang is represented by number 4, and the number 1 can be related to Wen Chang 2. So if we look at the yearly Flying Star chart of 2020, the number 4 star is Southwest and number 1 is Northeast. Both of them are good location to set up your home office or workspace. The number one white star is related to water element and it's related to the color of black and blue. And for the number four, it's related to wood element and uh, related to the color of green. So you can add those elements and colors in the space to enhance your intelligence. And there are some basic feng shui rules to set up a desk. The first one is to have a solid wall behind you when you sit down in front of the desk. It symbolizes the support behind you. And the second one is to have a good view in front of you that symbolizes bright future. And we also want to avoid traffic behind you, such as a door, because that's a symbol of negative people, gossip behind you, or backstabbing behind you. 
it's similar if you have a window behind you when you sit down in front of the desk. That can also mean money loss because of the lack of support. But if it's a desk for school kids or students, it's okay to have the desk against a wall. So when you sit down, you are facing the wall because that will help you concentrate and avoid any distractions. But for an office desk, it's better not to face a wall directly. And one solution is to add a mirror or add some landscape painting in front of you so you have a better view in front. And you probably heard of the commanding position or commanding location in Feng Shui. The power or commanding location is usually the space at the back that's far away from the door. And that's a good place to set up a desk too. So when you sit down, you can see people coming in and you have back support. So you feel secure and you can still oversee everybody in the space. And that's the same in every space. If you can choose a seat in a meeting, it's better to choose the power position. That should give you some extra support and power. And here are some more ideas for home office or remote learning for kids. The first one is equipment related to online meetings. It's nice to have a good earphone and maybe microphone or at least a quiet spot in your house so you can do the online meeting easily. And for the little kids, it's important to have the right size desk and the chairs so it's comfortable to sit for a longer period of time. And to me, it's important to keep this space very simple and clutter free. So there's no distraction and you can concentrate on your work. It's very stressful when the place is cluttered or disorganized. So the next one is to set up your own filing system or storage system. It can be very simple. Just place papers in certain folders or certain drawers. But having a system will help you on top of everything because over time everything will pile up and it can become a problem in the future. And if you are doing remote learning or you have to do online meetings, it's important to have good internet access and uh, close to the power outlet so you can charge all your device and that will be one less thing to worry about. The next one is good lighting, either natural lighting or artificial lighting. If you are planning to get a new lamp, there are a lot of lighting available on the market that you can actually adjust the color temperature and intensity of the lighting and also adjusting the angle of lighting. And the last one is about the air quality. Many people are buying air purifiers. Because of the COVID-19, the air quality is very important now we want to make sure we have fresh air. So if you can at least open the window every day for a little while, and you can also bring in some house plants that can also purify the air. And the last part is about enhancers and the inspirational items. In traditional Chinese feng shui, to enhance the Wen Chang location, People like to place some Chinese ink brush set or Wen Chang Pagoda because those are symbols of wisdom. Other enhancers are lucky bamboo or any broad leaf plants and avoid any spiky leaves such as cactus. Those are more for reflecting back any negative chi. Another popular one is the ink painting of the mountains and waters because it represents an open and beautiful future. And other items include the qi lin, pi shou, dragon, or horse. Those are animals that can bring you protection, authority, career success, and general good luck. 
in the modern days, you don't really need to follow those rules exactly, but you can still display nice stationary and inspirational images or quotes or any items that remind you of your own dreams and goals, such as a vision board or any pictures of your mentors or heroes. It doesn't matter if you are forced to stay home and work or homeschooling or both. We will try to make the best experience. And when we look back in a few years, we will cherish all the memories in this special time. I hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching. Talk to you next week.